Welcome back. Mm. See what I did there? Double dipped. Double dipped. Ooh. Yeah, little, I, little pop to bring us back. That was a quick pop. Quick pop. All right. Well, welcome back in. We're ready to hit up pick 1-8 in this mock it up before you fuck it up. But before we do, we wanted to hit you off with a little Twitter plug. You can find us as a collective unit at the FF Dynasty. We all have individual handles. You can find Jay Wayne at Jay Wayne's World. You can find Big Co. at Dynasty Big Co. You can find myself at IMC Myers. And without further ado, there's that lovely sound that we don't hear often enough, I don't think. Jay Wayne was right on that one. Let's get it. On. Pick 1-8. Picking for old Uncle Big Co. squad over here. <laughs> Is that, your, you got? is that your team name, Big Co? Sure. Just giving it away. <laughs> we got some bad team names in this league. Yeah, this we is need not a creative team, team, uh, team league namer. All right, so this is my pick, 1-8. Um, going DJ Moore. Big Co's <laughs> skin just crawled. <laughs> yes, bad pick, Jay Wayne. <laughs> bad pick. <laughs> First of all, let me just... Say Bad that pick. I'm one eight because I got bounced. It's commandeering the mic here. I'm taking it from. I got bounced first week of the playoffs by a team that shouldn't even been in the playoffs. Mm. My ho- I got Alvin Kamara. Oh, that's Al- the worst. Alvin Kamara got got a concussion. He goes out in the first quarter. Whatever else happened, it doesn't matter from there because I was seeing red. First quarter, Alvin Kamara was out. Julio probably had a bad week for me. T. Y. Hilton was on the bench because the quarterbacks got no left, got no shoulder. A.J. Green might have been doing something. I don't know. Who knows what Brandon Cooks was doing that week. Damn it, boy. <laughs> Kareem Hunt didn't do anything probably for me. Just whole team just shut down on me, and I was trying to go for the back-to-back championship and just got bounced. See ya. I mean, the team that I was playing against was laughable. I was like a 68-point favorite. He bro. shouldn't have been in the in the playoffs. I, w- I was like a 68-point favorite and got bounced out of the playoffs. So for those of you tuning in just on YouTube, this is a, this is a home league that the three of us are all in together. And Big Coast talking about his own team, obviously, here. I'm glad he got back. Well, last year when we did this at the 112, and it was from... pretty nice to talk about my team. But now mm-hmm. I'm at the 1-8. I don't like to be that high up. I like to be way back in the back. All right, Jay Wayne. So why DJ Moore at the 8 instead of, let's say, a Royce Freeman? You're definitely probably going Royce Freeman, huh? Well, obviously, over, but over I know you, you've been trying to take DJ Moore for like seven picks now. So go ahead and tell me why you, why you like DJ Moore. <sighs> Man, I don't know that I can't tell you why I Dude like DJ loves Moore. DJ Moore. I really wanted to take him at five. I, I alluded to that in in our the first half of this mock it up. But that was my team. You don't you don't put that voodoo on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> 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 I knew there was no way that Casey was going to take a running back at one five. A wide uh, receiver. Sorry, wide receiver. Of course, was I thinking? And so I ultimately went with carry on because I, I had to, and 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 I want to put Rojo at five in my overall. Rookie rankings, but I mean, I think when I'm on the clock, I think I'll take those two running backs. But then when it gets to one eight, I think I think I gotta go DJ Moore. I just, I, just, I I understand if you want to go uh, Royce Freeman here. I can't I can't knock you at all. I can't knock you if you want to take eight straight running backs in this rookie draft. That's totally understandable, and I get it. If you if if you need a running back at all, that's probably the way you should go. But I just I'm so enamored. I'm enamored. Yeah. Enamored. With DJ Moore, the ceiling is just so attractive that I'm having a hard time with this with, with not taking him. Um, he he's raw, and the route running isn't as precise as maybe Calvin Ridley. But if if you had a high ceiling and non rawness, you'd be the first pick, right? <laughs> if you had a high ceiling and non rawness, you're you're Saquon Barkley, and you're the undeniable first pick overall. And 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 you can knock him, but for the drops. But he, I mean, he was the first. Run wide receiver off the board in the NFL draft. Want to add that in there, um, but you can knock him for the drops if you want. But I mean, he's the definition of a quick twitcher. He, the start and stop ability is phenomenal. It just looks so smooth and fluid when he's out there running around. He's built thick up at, at six foot two ten. He's basically built like all he's, these running backs that we're talking about, right? And they'll hand him off the ball a little bit. They did at Maryland, and and he had fifteen bench rep, press reps, which is more than some of these running backs had. And he's just he's slippery and powerful after the catch. He, slippery. He's, he's quick enough to beat press coverage. It's it's hard to even get a hand on him, much less he can fight you off. He's got that strong upper body and he can hand fight you. It was evident to see him beating press coverage in college, which is which is awesome to see. Not the greatest of hands, but I mean they're pretty solid. You see him plucking high balls out you, of the air like, on a like consistent start basis. You like to catch hands from him. It's right. always good. Right, and the, and the QB play wasn't great, so. 
terrible. At, at actually. Maryland, I mean, it was yeah, it was terrible. Horrible. Oh, terrible. terrible, terrible, actually. This dude definitely ups his play when he gets near the red zone. He knows when it's about to count, and, and, and you see him beat dudes on a back shoulder fade like a big man, you yeah. know, at only six feet tall. And he can, he's got the metrics that you want, he can, that, that most people want. I don't necessarily want them, but they're nice to have. I don't need them. I like them. But, I mean, he can go up and hang in the air for, like, ever. Right. He just hangs in the air. It's just, it's well, just, when you put his metrics with what his – play on the field does it's just it's right. a it, fantastic it's, combination of things yeah, that everybody the, would it want it was fuel to the fire dj moore was already looking good and he was doing some things on tape that everybody was that just loving and then he goes and runs these numbers and right it was just blew the top off the exactly. off the it got, everybody's it got a little crazy everybody's top was blown off the nfl included they took him number one overall i i love the fact as that a he receiver can, right I love the fact that he can make your play, make your day. I fucked that up every time. He can make your day in one play. He's a he's a yep. home run hitter. And this is an ultimate home run cut. And and then even if he just totally tanks it his rookie year, I mean maybe not totally tanks it, but if say he has a mediocre to not great rookie year, he still has name cachet that's gonna resonate through your first year. You know, it's gonna hold that value. It's crazy how Certain players, like people in the dynasty fantasy football community, will make excuses for players they love, even if they don't perform. It's no crazy. Doubt. And then, then players they hate that do perform well, they still are like, ah, well, it's gonna fall off soon. Like nobody yeah, that wanted guy's to, terrible, right? Nobody wanted to give Kareem Hunt or Deshaun Watson their due. It took them five, ten, six, seven, eight games before somebody Kareem finally Hunt, was like, Kareem Hunt's still on the outs. People are right, still like, uh, right. I don't know. So like, it's it's just crazy how some people can have the name Cachet, play bad, and uh, still Jordan, hold Jordan value. Jordan Howard is, is, you know, all that dude has done is produce, but right. I, I don't want him. Right. I don't and want I, him. I hate they to knock my boy Sammy Watkins, but like, he really hasn't done a whole lot. I mean, eight touchdowns is eight touchdowns, but he hasn't done a whole lot of it. He's still like a top his, the, the thing is, is when you see pick. the good, it's, it's really good with Sammy Watkins, and that's what everyone's chasing yeah, around. So they excuse all the other... Well, I mean, kind of Sammy's, numbers. Sammy's defense. I mean, I don't defend too many wide receivers, but for a couple of weeks there, a couple of years ago, he sure, was that's ridiculous. what I'm saying. When is right, good, yeah. is good. It's great. He had yeah. a four week swing of ridiculous. He's points. had injuries and he's been in some bad situations, but he's still up there at the top, even though he hasn't performed like some of the dudes that are around him. He still has. He still holds. He's that definitely value. levitated up into that top end of draft picks. Well, he was, a lot he, longer than. We Most. gave we gave Sammy twenty five minutes on a podcast one time saying how in the world does he He's stay way value is bulletproof bulletproof yes. value bulletproof yeah. value that's what it was yes. Find it on Sammy got his so all right so we obviously know that you like DJ, DJ Moore. Moore is going to have a little bit of bulletproof value for the next year or two I see what you're saying Jay Wayne I believe I, I believe you and I. I I agree with that. I agree that his bulletproof right. value is going to be there for a while. So it's clear that you why not DJ Moore here, Big Co. Um, well, for me, it's because I. I did win the championship. If you this, have hate in your heart, man, that. <laughs> I, I don't have any hate. I don't have any hate for DJ Moore. I like DJ Moore. It's debatable. I, it, in it's fact, a bad pick. <laughs> well, yeah, just because it wasn't a running back. I mean, I, that's fair. I've won the championship with this team two years ago with no running backs. I mean, I I got and now lucky. you got Kamara and I got Kareem. Kareem I got lucky in the rookie draft last year and hit two two home runs back to back home runs and now i got some running backs but i need more running backs because they go quick and if something like i mean if something happens to one of them I, you got to start two in this league and i, I need more and i'll <laughs> i need more i need more and i i would be taking royce freeman here just on i'd take the tahoe and pack up my luggage <laughs> and take and hope we're going on a long trip you can fifth row it or you can fit more luggage <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Put the luggage rack on top and throw a trailer hitch ball on that bitch and just roll on out. You could drag your tiny house <laughs> right down the road with you. It's got to be no problem. It's got to be four wheel drive. No, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll just stop at every gas station we come to. When we get finally stuck get in the mud or the, the only snow. thing, only thing about a Tahoe is the gas station stops. When we finally get to Royce yeah, Freeman, EcoBoost in there now. You get a little bit true. better mileage. Definitely got to go EcoBoost. <laughs> I don't know, is that Ford? I don't know. They all got EcoBoost now. They Ford just call EcoBoost. it different things. Yeah, it's, they all steal each other's technology. When we get to Royce Freeman, I'm going to want to name that YouTube video Tahoe, but we're already, <laughs> we're already covered it in two different players. So, anyways, you took DJ Moore from my team, and honestly, I, ah, I take that. I wouldn't. He's hate drafted it. a rookie wide receiver. I wouldn't hate it when we get on the draft. When we get on the board here, when this draft comes around for this league, I've, I'm hoping that DJ Moore is already gone, so that pushes one more running back option to me. Um, but in this format right here, the way we're doing this, DJ Moore or Royce Freeman were basically your only two options. 
I would have taken Royce Freeman, obviously. But, I mean, DJ Moore, like you said, you take a home run cut here. If he comes out and he starts playing, you know, puts up, has a good freshman season, you know, anything. If he has a couple games looking like Juju Smith Schuster, you, you can't get him for the 1 8 again, ever again. Um, but that being said, if Royce Freeman comes out there Tahoeing it up and he's getting some, you know, comes some running and some catching every week, then a, a, a running back who's scoring points is priceless. So I, I feel like, but, but I will say this. Royce Freeman does not have anywhere near the bulletproof value that DJ Moore is. Right. DJ Moore is the much safer pick for value leaving your rookie draft. Week one, both players do nothing. DJ Moore, okay. Royce Advantage, Freeman. DJ Moore. <laughs> yeah. if, if, both, if both players have a bad first two weeks of the season, Royce Freeman, question marks all over the place. Right. DJ Moore, it's Cam Newton's fault. Like, there's no doubt about right. it. I'm probably taking Royce Freeman, but if you're really questionable on how, what you got going on or you, it's really a long-term play for you, if you're completely rebuilding, then DJ Moore is a much better So what player. would be your negative marks for DJ Moore? So is, he, is DJ Moore your first receiver off the board? Yeah, for sure. My, neg- my, my negative mark is the fact that he's playing with Cam Newton, and I haven't seen Cam Fair Newton. Enough. I haven't seen Cam Newton really support a solid receiver for more than three or four weeks at a time, not named Greg Olson. Let alone Olson, Funches, yeah, we, DJ Moore. Check back to the Christian McCaffrey episode Christian McCaffrey. last week for plenty of Panthers talk. CJ Henderson. There, the fact that the the fact that Greg Olson comes back is a big, big downside for all the other pass catchers. Just like I said last week, um, and with the running backs that now they got two running backs that can catch passes. Obviously, Christian McCaffrey is elite at catching passes out of the backfield, but I just feel like there's, I don't think there's quite as much upside for you. DJ Moore wearing a Panthers jersey as pretty much a lot two-thirds of the other teams he could have gone to Yo, know the panthers were 27th in passing attempts 29th in completions 29th in completion percentage Those 28th in yards ridiculous tied for ridiculous 18th numbers touchdowns ridiculous so numbers a, supporting a bit what up, i just said right yeah those aren't great numbers but i'll still take dj moore whatever right so, well part of the issue i didn't love dj moore's vertical game coming out of college and the norv turner's got a little bit of that kind of take shots which i think is improvable because there's great metrics to go along with what DJ Moore does. So I think the vertical game is improvable by him, but I just didn't love it coming out of college. I think he's a pretty smart guy. He knows how to beat zones and, and, and work the coverages, and then you, you add the metrics in there in those tighter, smaller, mid to intermediate to short routes. And I, I like a lot of what DJ Moore does. The reason that I would be interested in taking him is the ability to turn a screen into oh, yeah. an no 80-yard touchdown. Hey, and it's, gonna, it's really, to me... DJ Moore's ceiling is just going to come down to the creativity of what the Carolina Panthers can do on offense. Love that point. And DJ Moore is going to come right in and challenge, you know, the old Golden Tate comparison for Yak. No doubt about it. But can I, to to DJ Moore's credit. Just how many of those short balls are going to be available for him? That's a good point, too. Um, But let me just give it. Let me throw let me throw DJ Moore a bone in college. Like you said, his, his long throw, his long plays weren't really there or looked good like. With the lack Bad of quarterbacks, with the with the lack of quarterback play at all, could you even get that far away from the line of scrimmage and hope to catch a ball? You know, no, that's a good point. But back to like, it was more about like his vert- the way he was getting separated on vertical routes that I didn't love. Yeah. I'm just saying, so you know what I mean. I'm saying like delivery. I mean, his route if you running got a bad is quarterback, rounded in a, right. in a if you bad got a bad, way. If you got a bad quarterback, the closer you stand to him, the better chance you got to catch it. Right. So if the farther away that that you you know obviously a long pass is a long pass and and, and guys are bigger, completion faster, rates, stronger. Completion next, rates drop down the field for at a reason. The next go round, and I didn't love the way he separated in a vertical route in college. So fair enough. I just wanted to ask, and he didn't like crush contested catches. There were some really nice. Wow, like, plays out there cer- for sure. Kind of, cer- there'll be some circus catches that are yeah. like holy right. shnikes. Yeah, <laughs> shnikes. And another another negative point that I was thinking about is is you know he definitely got frustrated in college with bad quarterback play and erratic throws. And Cam Newton is one to be an erratic thrower and get frustrated himself. Oh, good and point. And I could see these boys getting mad at each other and it just the wheels falling off in certain games. But like when when it's on, it's going to be amazing. And when it's not, it's going to be very frustrating and maybe even hard to watch. Well, that- and I'm not like I don't have the most highest expectations for DJ Moore in his rookie year. I mean, any rookie wide receiver, like we get, we're getting spoiled here with these rookie wide receivers. We, we that got are able spoiled to, in a in a small batch a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, but it really hasn't panned out, right? Since. So uh, that's too uh, too much. This is a longer play, and 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 like you said, you know, if you're looking down the line a little bit and you're you're wanting that longer play because you were like, this is I could see, you, I could I can understand this pick, and so I'm just cautioning, 
you know, don't get if you take him and it doesn't turn out awesome, like don't get discouraged right off the rip. These boys got to work this out, and this this offense is could be really scary and fun to watch if they figure it out. If they don't, it could just but just, that is definitely fall a poss- off the what, wheels. Some of the off. things you just said, they were really good, and it, it's definitely a possibility that there's some games, and it could be earlier than than later in the season. But they could be spaced out, but there's definitely uh, chances that that, love thing, that yeah things aren't going to look too good for the Panthers' offense passing game, anyways. Here's one other thing that I I want to just bring to light. So we're in the Ultimate Dynasty Podcast League with a a bunch of different dynasty podcasters in there. One of which is the Podfather, who is far and away the leader in the clubhouse for fanboys of DJ Moore, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, the metrics loves this guy. Loves the college dog would diddle him. would diddle him if he had the chance. I think <laughs> loves him. He drafted Royce Freeman over DJ Moore in said league. Now, in his defense, just because you love a dude and you ranked him up high doesn't mean you didn't take him eight other times in another draft, and and you've, you've got eight you're, shares you're, of DJ that's Moore. Now let's go ahead and diversify. That's very you're going fair. Diversification, but in the Ultimate Dynasty Podcasters League, that's I mean, not that it's for very much money, which would be my it's only true. knock against that league. But like, we should we should probably up the Annie to you know like another two hundred dollars, well, whatever. See what throwing that of. out there. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. But but you know you're right. That's a great point. He did take Royce Freeman. So that 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 was that was alarming to me a little bit. And <laughs> I, and I know that he's he's currently on the rampage of saying you know don't draft rookie receivers, which I'm yeah, 100%, he got that from us. I'm a hundred years ago. <laughs> I don't know if he got it from yeah, us, but he should for, have. Thanks for tuning in and been picking on that, that train one up for a while. And, and this is why I'm completely okay with taking Royce Freeman over DJ Moore. But I'm again, like you said, to lead this thing off, I can't argue with you for taking DJ Moore over him. I think the, what you saw on tape and, and the ridiculousness that was him. And then couple that with the metrics of you getting the best of both worlds out of this guy and the draft capital and, and the roof is the ceiling here oh, he's basically deal. the number one option on that team and Let's i didn't not mean joke to, like to throw any shade towards dj Moore at all if that's what it sounded like when yep. i was talking about him i was just trying no. to well before we get off dj Moore, i gotta say this because if anybody just heard that and wants to go find the link to the ultimate dynasty podcast league i just want everybody that just heard that to know we took over that team last year. This is true. And it was a horrible team. Right. Don't think that that's that how an, we We roll. took over this orphan team. We, we were not a part of that We startup. are trying to turn this team around as we speak. That team is not probably, representative of how we roll, and I would have not checked okay on that team. And as Jay Wayne mentioned, it's obviously it's a bit more for pride. It's a low buy-in number. Yeah, it's and like $30 probably or something? didn't pay. I think it's 50 but we didn't pay enough oh, okay. attention that's, to that league to, to start off with when well, we, took we took it over, over last Well, we took over a bad year. team to begin yeah. with, plus we didn't really care. But, but yeah, anyway, we wanted to no play excuses. in a league with the, I want to play. play like a champion. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to play in that league with those guys, and we want to beat them up. But, uh, you know, here's here's for what Jay said. To let's let's start over, raise the rates. You know, we don't have to start over. Let's just raise the rates. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm a coxman. <laughs> My first Asian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wedding All crashers. Right. All right. That'll wrap up DJ Moore. First Asian. <laughs> Let's just hold on a second. Let's take a quick commercial break, gather ourselves, and we'll come back with pick one nine. 